In this video, I'll break down how to add cinematic titles like this one to your music video in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is the clip that I'll be using as the example. Now I would encourage you to use B-roll shots for the title sequence. I probably wouldn't put like a cinematic title on like a performance shot. So I would try my best to select a B-roll shot as kind of the background for the cinematic title. Now there are two main methods when it comes to creating a title in Final Cut. The first method is just clicking on Control T, which will just create the basic title, which is just the default title, or Final Cut actually comes with this really cool custom title that comes with like built-in animations. So if I head over here to the title section, so make sure you're on the on the actual title section, go to titles, and then just type in custom. Final Cut has this really cool custom title that actually has pre-built-in animations. So you can kind of animate it without having to actually keyframe anything. So either use the basic title. So you see if I go to publish parameters, I have a whole bunch of really cool animation methods. So either use a, ba a custom title or a basic title. Now Apple actually gives you the ability to import your own custom fonts so all you would do is you would go to the font book in your application section on your Mac and then you just click the little plus icon and then you just select where the actual font is so where you have the folder saved now I use Envato elements as a, you know, a way to download custom fonts but the font.com is also a great place there are a whole bunch of great places to find like custom fonts I used Envato elements so I think it's probably the best method but there are a free methods and free ways of doing this I highly encourage you or suggest you to use Envato elements it does cost money and again there are free methods but it's really cool that Apple gives you the ability to import your own custom fonts and then you can use those custom fonts actually inside of Final Cut. So if I head over here to font, I select on this title, go to font, I can actually select a whole bunch of different fonts. So you again like you have, you would have some imported, so it's really cool as you can see here is one of the fonts that I just imported and I'm just going to select on it as you can see you can import and select your own custom fonts and of course I can increase the size. So it's just really cool that Final Cut and Apple gives you that ability. So what you would do is you want to head over to this text box and you're just going to type in the text. So in this case we'll just do the name of the song um, to deaf. So you're just going to select here and now you can go ahead over here and adjust the font. You can adjust the size. You can adjust the alignment. A really cool thing that Final Cut allows you to do is you can actually click on all caps and turn it to 100%. So even if you have lowercase, you know, if you, you typed out on lowercase, you can just select all caps which is really helpful. I would highly encourage you to add a drop shadow which is just really nice which will create depth. Now I can go over here to face and then go over here to color and then select gradient. So I want like a gradient um, instead of just like a, a flat still a flat color. So go to gradient and as you can see you can select a whole bunch of different colors. So we want to change this to more like a red color and then we want to select this one and change that more to a white color. So you can see the ability to create kind of a gradient map or have that gradient text. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the show horizon, head over here to the inspector window, and as you can see, you can kind of drag it down. So this will just really help center it. If you want to increase the scale a little bit, so you can see you can kind of adjust it. And using the show the grid, you can just it just really helps to help, uh, just really helps um, center the text. So there we go. There is just the title of the music video. Now what you want to do is you select in the text, and you're just going to create a copy by holding down Option and dragging up. So you can head over here and they're just going to type in the name of the artist. So we'll just type in Frito Bang. So that's kind of the name of the artist. And then we're going to go ahead and just decrease the scale a little bit. And we'll head over here to the position and just move the font up, move the text up. Now you can head over here and adjust the font. So if you want the font to be a little bit different. So I think there's a really cool one called like Heat Wave. If I can try to find it, there we go. There's Heat Wave. So if you want to change this color, maybe we don't want to have a gradient. So let's head over here, select color. We just want a solid color. And then we can just change the color to like a um, yellow color. You can also select on here, this color picker, and you can select a different color. So it's just really nice. We're just gonna leave it at yellow. So there you go, you have a really nice kind of like um, yellow solid color text. Then you can head over here, you can adjust the size, or you can head over here to scale, scale the, the text to you know, obviously as big as you want. This is just an example. We're gonna move it down and there we go. There is the second text layer. Okay, let's make a third text layer. Select on this text, hold down option to create a copy, and we're just gonna move this down below to just get, it just will just help to kind of visually see everything. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in you know the director or whoever shot the video. In this case, we'll do shot by Jolo. So that is the name of the person who shot it. And now what we're gonna do is take the um, go to the inspector window, bring it down, and then of course we can change the font. So we want to go over here and want to change the font. I think there's one called like Overdrive, 
which is pretty cool. So we kind of just go down till we find it, select on the font we want to use, and then we'll just do this to regular and then decrease the size a little bit. And now we can head over here to the inspector window again, just kind of drag the text up again until you get the look you want. It's all a personal preference. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. I'm just showing you how to do it. So let's head over here to face. We want to change this face to like white. And we want to add a little bit of a glow. So we head over here, I can enable glow. I can bring down the show. And then as you can see, I can kind of increase the radius and give it a little bit of a blur. And as you can see, that looks pretty good. I think it looks a little too big. Let's decrease the scale a little bit and we can just drag it up. And there you go, that looks pretty cool. Maybe that glow is a little too intense. Let's take down the radius, the blur a little bit. But I think that looks pretty cool. There is a very like generic basic way of doing it. Again, this is just I'm just showing you how to do it. Use the concepts and things that I teach you in this video to make your own title. But there you go. There's a very simple, you know, cinematic title. And of course, select on the text. And of course, there are a whole bunch of other options. I'm just going over some of my favorite options. You can see you can kind of like change the alignment. You can make the alignment all in the middle or to the left or the right. You can take the line spacing if you want uh, the spacing a little bit. Sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes it does. Tracking is also a nice option. As you can see, I kind of expand the text. That looks good. You can adjust the baseline, the position, the rotation. You can make it 3D. You can add a glow. You can add outlines. You can see there's just a whole bunch of different things to do. I always encourage you to add a drop shadow because what that's going to do is that's going to create depth for the text. It'll just going to be just going to look a lot nicer. It's always good to create add a little bit of a drop shadow or like a glow just to help give the text a little bit of depth from the actual background, just so it looks a little bit more dynamic. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you create a cinematic title. Now you may want to animate the title by kind of making it flicker off and on you can have it fade in you could have it you know keyframe in there are a whole bunch of different ways you kind of animate if I can select on it I can head over here and I can actually have the actual scale in so you can see you have scale in scale out so let's just take this I'm just gonna show you one example as you can see there's some pre-built in animations so if I play the video as you can see now this text is just going to scale in if we want to select on this one and we kind of want to have it of the opacity kind of turn it down so it's just really cool this is just really cool you don't have to you know, do this exactly there a whole bunch of different things you can do if you want to take the rotation of this and I want to adjust the Z something like this and adjust the scale you could also do out position this is just an example this is just really cool that final kit gives you these kind of pre-built in animations so let's see how that looks as you can see this is really cool you can animate the title again you could fade it out with a cross dissolve you could have it flicker on you don't have to have it animate but sometimes animating can make the text or just look a lot more dynamic but I just want to show you this really cool option that final cut gives you and again you could do the in or you could also select on out to have it animate out so it's just really cool that final cut gives you these kind of like pre-built in this text uh, layer that allows you to kind of like pre-built in animation which I think is a really cool like plus a really cool bonus and that's pretty much it anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from lastly make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins anyways I'll see you in the next one peace